Today I'm going to show you how to stretch a piece of paper. Uh, some people uh, wonder, should you stretch paper or shouldn't you? Uh, if you don't stretch paper, does it matter? Uh, well, the thinner the paper, the more it will distort, uh, cockle or buckle. Uh, and a really good way of stretching paper that I often use is the, uh, uh, is the perfect paper stretcher. So uh, I've got a piece of uh, watercolour paper here. This is 140 pound weight or 300 gram weight. Uh, and this has been soaking for about 10, 15 minutes. I will give it at least five minutes to soak, but you can't over soak paper. I've left paper in the sink uh, for hours and hours and hours and forgot all about it and uh, come across it later on and it's been fine. So I don't think you can over soak paper. This has had about 10, 15 minutes, so I'll just get rid of the excess. And the, so the paper's still wet, and while the paper's wet, it expands and it's very flexible. So you put the paper, uh, sorry, the paper stretcher down like that and press down on it so that you get rid of any air bubbles. And because the uh, paper's wet, it sticks to it like that. So just press down and fold along the edge a little bit like that and then trap the bottom edge like that and then you get your piece of flexible plastic. The sides of the, um, of the paper stretcher are grooved and uh, so this uh, plastic, flexible plastic, you just tap with a hammer or a mallet or something heavy like that, watch your thumbs. And then you do the same on the other side. Make sure that's roughly in the middle. I always do it the back way, because if you do it the other way around, you might miss and go down the front of your paper. So I always do it from behind. And then the same on the other two sides. This is so simple. If I can do it, anybody can do it. It's dead easy. And once you've done your first one, then it's even easier still. Uh, you can either uh, paint on it straight away if you're working wet and wet, or if you want to draw on it, then you'd need to let it dry, first of all, so you could dry it with a hairdryer. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So that's ready for painting on. Down here, in true form. I've got one that uh, was uh, prepared earlier and I painted a picture on it and this is ready for coming off the board. Um, so what I usually do uh, is uh, put um, a craft knife or a, a scalpel, a very sharp blade, in between the uh, paper and the board. You can, if you want to, uh, just uh, instead of doing it that way, you can tease the um, uh, plastic uh, out of the grooves. You can see on each of the four sides there's a groove there. Uh, you can tease it out and prise it off the, uh, the paper stretcher. Um, I think it's a bit easier if you're careful just to get a knife like this. Just go all the way around on the four sides. You've just got to remember, of course, that you will lose a little bit of your picture, um, you know, if you're going to mount it. So, you know, you'd lose about a quarter of an inch or so of the picture all the way around. So uh, make sure that when you do take it off, the picture's absolutely dry, because if it's slightly damp, then it will start to cockle and buckle again. So that is perfectly flat. And then all those are ready to stay uh, in there until I'm ready to stretch the next piece of paper. So there we are, job's done.